Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you got a chance to have a look at my previous videos. In my first video I did a removal process of dip powder and then I did another video on uh, my thumbnail where I put a small tip and did the reapplication of dip. Uh, did all this with my non-dominant hand. Today I'm doing a jade inspired nail, um, which I thought I would do for St. Patrick's Day coming up on Tuesday the 17th of March. Um, I'm also going to be uploading another video with a opal inspired nail, um, so hopefully you can check that out as well. Here I'm taking off the top coat and the bulk of the product using a medium sanding band or arbor band. Um, I then go on to use a hand file just to refine the uh, cuticle area, take away any lifting and um, make sure that the cuticle area is flush ready for reapplication. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'll probably cut in here and there just to explain a couple of processes and um, yeah, watch me work. Enjoy. pushing back the dead skin in my cuticle area. Um, I find that um, this straight sort of curved pusher is quite, um, quite good for getting right in the corners. Um, I've got a couple of other cuticle pushers too um, that are more rounded and I like them as well. But yeah, I, I picked this one up just because my others were um, needed cleaning and I hadn't done it yet and um, yeah I just thought oh actually I quite like this So here I'm just using a blue abrasive round Russian cuticle bit. Um, I'm just cleaning away the dead skin um, with a very light feather touch off the surface of my nail and mostly going around very gently on just the edge of my um, eponychium to remove all that dead skin from the cuticle area. Uh, if you're not comfortable using a um, e-file then you could do this with nippers. Um, I personally find I'm very nervous with nippers and I tend to nip myself so and I actually like the, um, the cleanliness and the smooth finish that I get with the um, the e-file and the cuticle bits um, but again only use an e-file if you are very confident in it because you can cause some major damage if you're not experienced and, and practiced a lot. Here I'm just placing out a few different green colours and some white for the marbling effect. I also made a jelly green um, gel that I, I put some builder gel together with some base coat to make it not as thick and then I added some iridescent green pigment powder uh, and then I've also got some gold leaf uh, for detail. 
So I start off with the base green and then I added white to that colour to make another, another green to sort of just give it light and shade and some depth and then I've got another green that I put out Here I've uh, cleansed the inhibition layer off, uh, so there's no sticky, tacky layer on there. The reason I did that was because my base coat is Vanalisa and the colours that I'm putting on are Azure, so I just didn't want them to react with each other. Um, I'm going straight into my design because I've already got a little bit of that dip still left on my nail, so I don't need to build any structure. So the first layer I put down is the background and I do a thin layer of the lighter green colour that I mixed together and then I cure it for 30 seconds. Next I pick up some of the darker green and I just randomly place it around the nail. Um, no rhyme or reason to this, just however you feel, just keep playing around with it. You've got time with gel uh, till you, you like the design. So that's what I'm doing here. I guess the best way to describe it is that you're just trying to use all the different shades of green to get a motley sort of uh, design going on. Cure that for 30 seconds. So here I'm putting down a thin layer of the iridescent jelly green gel. Uh, I then take a detailing brush and I start to put in the white marbling effect. Uh, I don't cure this layer, I just start adding in the details um, while the gel is uncured. The reason that I add it in uncured is, as you can probably see, that when you start to put the other colours in, it starts to disperse and um, sort of gets the effect that I need without having to play around with it too much. So once I'm happy with the design, I flip my nail over, let all the gel just sort of pull to the middle, then I flip it back and pop it in the light for 30 seconds and cure. Now that the nail is cured, I pull it out of the light, leave the inhibition layer on and I start adding the gold leaf into that uh, inhibition layer. I then encapsulate the whole design in the jelly green gel and then I flip my nail over to gravitate all the gel to the middle of my nail to make it smooth and then I pop it in the light for 30 seconds. Once it's out I clean off the inhibition layer and then I go on to just finish file very lightly. I'm just refining the edges um, and um, just getting my shape back.
So after redefining my shape with my hand file, I am just putting the final top layer on now and curing for 30 seconds. Uh, as you can see in the video, I did probably about three thin layers of gel color and then the top coat, uh, simply because I already had that base layer of dip already down so I didn't have to build too much structure. Um, I personally found the nail not to be too bulky, um, but yeah, love your opinion. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just adding some cuticle oil and in a moment you'll hear that lovely squeak that you get after cleaning off the cuticle oil. Coming up to the end of the video now and this is the final design. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you get a chance check out my previous videos and um, yeah leave any comments or questions down below. Uh, coming up in my next video I'm looking at doing a opal inspired um, nail so I hope you can check that out too. Thanks for watching and bye for now.